Welcome to the Power Hour. This is your home for all things rock and metal. I'm Matt Pinfield. I'm Josh Bernstein. I'm Katie Babs. Now, last week we showed you five new rock videos, and you voted on them. You're going to find out how they did in our top ten. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. One of the new music videos was Lip Biscuit Out of Style, and I need to, like, get amped up. So can we just check out a piece of that music video right now, Matt? Okay. <laughs> When's it gonna change? Hurts me in a loving kind of way. It's time to rock this motherfucker cause I'm always out of style Never change my style cause my style is kinda fresh You bitches asking for a sound check and check one two bitch You barely touch the ground yeah Choke up on your bounce game Coming down the mountain Copycats you lucky that I let you hang around me Oh my gosh it's perfect Limp Biscuit out of style I'm even wearing my Limp Biscuit pants today Now last week we showed you five new rock videos And you get to find out this week how they placed in our top 10 from your votes. That's right, your votes count here. Hit that QR code below. You can let your voices be heard by voting for your favorite videos. And we still got five new music videos to debut today. And there's some really great ones I think people are gonna be excited about. Absolutely. But right now, let's talk about Record Store Day that's coming up on April 22nd. And speaking of right now, Van Halen are one of the many bands that are releasing some really great vinyl on that day. Vinyl versions of all the albums they did with Sammy Hagar. Well, obviously, there's a whole generation of people that, you know, the, the war between Van Halen and Van Hagar. Uh, but, you know, I'll tell you that Van Hagar stuff has aged quite well, and I'm glad we can finally get it on vinyl. I love Sammy, first of all. I actually got to go to one of his shows in Vegas, and I got to introduce him on stage, and that was my first time ever introducing a musician on stage, which was uh, pretty crazy that it was with Sammy. Let's talk about some of the other vinyl that's coming yep. out, though, for Record Store Day. Uh, we've got new Motley Crue, which is really exciting. And Dio. Yeah. Uh, the Doors, Joan Jett, the I mean, the Rolling Stones. This reads like my personal... Uh, you know, top 10 list of favorite artists already. So yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to, to see what's going to be coming out. And obviously, this is a great program to support all your great local uh, record stores. So definitely go in and support these mom and pop shops and support by buying vinyl. Now, one of the other big stories this week was that Brian May of the band Queen thinks that they might have invented the genre of thrash metal. And, uh, you know, I, what do you think of that, guys? Because I think uh, Stone Cold Crazy is just one of the, I think it really is the first thrash metal song from their album, I mean, Sheer I, Heart Attack I in 74. I, I agree with you. Like, I, I feel like I'm in a different generation here, you know what I mean? So I don't agree with the thrash metal with Queen. I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me, even though I love, love, love Queen. But I'm with you on like Metallica and Ozzy yeah. and yeah. you know, all that that thrash. That is thrash to me. Well, why don't we ask Dave Mustaine? Because Dave Mustaine is one of our guests tonight from Megadeth, and we should find out what he thinks. How does he weigh in? on the situation with Queen and Thrash. Dave, Brian May recently said he discovered that they might have invented thrash metal with Stone Cold Crazy from the great Sheer Heart Attack album that came out back in 1974. What are your feelings on that? I love that song, and that may have be it may be them discovering thrash, but they left it where they found it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I wouldn't argue with you there. See, everyone loves and adores Queen. How could you not? But Dave, can you stick around for a little while longer? No problem. I'll stick around. All right, Dave, we'll be back with you in a little bit. But this we're now about to get to my favorite part of the show, the top five brand new videos of the week that we're going to unveil for you here today. Matt, what do we got? We have got Metallica in the second video from the new album, 72 Seasons, which, by the way, stands for from the time you're born to you turn 18 years old. Those are those 72 seasons, right? Well, the album is coming out on April 14th. This is the second video they've released from the album, and here it is. It's called Screaming Suicide, Metallica. Ha! 
God damn, that was so good. That was such a good Metallica song, Matt. It is. It's incredible, and it's got that energy that they've had since they put out Kill 'Em All. I love it. Right? I love it, and it's never a disappointment. I can't believe. Still to come on the show, we have Dave Mustaine of Megadeth. John Fred from Blackstone Cherry, and... And we got four new music videos as well. It's coming your way on the Power Hour. Keep it tuned right here to Axis TV. Power Hour, welcome back. We still have a lot of new music videos to show you, and I'm so pumped up. What are you guys excited for? Oh, man, I'm, for me, it's, it's a battle between uh, Ghost is on here, Steel Panther, Muse! Tell you the truth, I'm very excited about this next video, our second new one of the night from the band Ghost, and they get some help from the one and only Joe Elliott from Def Leppard. And it's because these bands really admire each other. There's a story that Joe Elliott said he discovered this band Ghost from Sweden. He was turned on to him by their guitarist, Phil Cullen, about eight or nine years ago, and had always been a fan of their songwriting. And then he read that Tobias Forge from Ghost, he was a huge Def Leppard fan growing up and learned a lot about writing melodies from listening to Def Leppard records. So, it's so cool that these guys can get together and make a video Joe together. Joe Elliott's a legend, uh, teaming up with Tobias Forge, uh, can't be any better. This one's called Spillways by Ghost and Joe Elliott. <laughs> That's Spillways, that's Ghost with Joe Elliott of Def Leppard. And I love the fact that they, I mean, Joe Elliott's having so much fun in there doing the whole thing with the karaoke and the Irish bar and then seeing the spirits, you know? It's great, and he doesn't take himself too seriously, and, and what a legend, and uh, so excited to see them on tour again this summer with Motley Crue. Yeah, I like that there's like six people watching him perform in that little hole of a bar. Little pub. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, this next band, you know, we've had the pleasure of seeing on so many uh, Danny Wimmer presents festivals. They're the three lads from the UK Muse, and they make such a big sound. I'm such a fan. So excited to have some new Muse music here on the, on the Power Hour. Yes, it's from their latest album, which is called Will of the People. And I ran into uh, the front man and uh, multi-instrumentalist Matt Bellamy recently outside of a show. And I said, hey, man, I love the titles of some of the songs on your new album. And he goes, oh, you like that one, uh, We Are Fucking Fucked. And I went, I got to admit, it's really direct. <laughs> you know I, what love I, mean? it. I love it. It's a crazy title. But, you know, he said about this song that he was uh, actually inspired, You Love Limp Bizkit. He was using that as an example of a band who did what the death growl. He said, if they're going heavy, they're going extremely heavy. Yeah. And one thing I really like about Muse as well is even if you're not a fan of Muse, you can go to one of their shows oh and you're going to leave the biggest Muse fan. Like anybody can go and watch their live show and just be blown away. That is one thing that Muse does. They bring perfectly. it so hard. And again, if you get a chance, especially at a future one of our festivals, please check them out. You won't be disappointed. And speaking of which, here is their brand new single, Tell the Guilt. Such a great live band, too, guys. I mean, they're amazing. They always bring it. I mean, he can play every instrument, Matt Bellamy. Underrated power trio. And this next one that we have is from The Who. We are such big fans of this band. Oh we have God. talked about them so much at all the festivals. I love them so. I'm Pete Townsend, Roger Daltrey, Keith Moon. No, no, I'm talking about a different No, no, who. no, Josh. <laughs> John I, I think I think you got it confused. British yes. Invasion, right? <laughs> We're talking about the H-U, right? The H-U, the who? That's right. They're a Mongolian band. Six guys from Mongolia, of all places, who don't really speak English, 
but their music is completely metal mixed with traditional Mongolian instruments. They call it folk metal. They call it a few different things, but they've all, they already collaborated with Lizzie Hale and Jacoby Shadows yep. from Papa Roach. They are so badass. Like at the festivals, they walk around with a translator because they quite literally don't understand one word of what's happening. But <laughs> I did see them a couple months back and one of the members is practicing his English. Oh, he's getting big because when he's I interviewed him at better. Welcome to Rockville, they had the translator. They're here with Allison Chains' own William Duvall doing guest vocals. It was so incredible. William's an incredible singer. This is called This Is Mongo. That's the Who, not the legendary Who, but the new Who, H-U, with some help from William Duvall of Alice in Chains, and it's called This Is Mongol Warrior Souls. Get it right, H-U. That's you right. Sound, you sound like Dr. Seuss. It's new Who, Su Who. Yeah. <laughs> who Who. Well, uh, before we get to the next video, I want to say, you know, having you guys as my friends, uh, there's so many benefits to that, and I feel like I could say you guys are my friends with, with benefits. Can I say that? Well, you know, I don't think it's exactly how we want people to portray us out there or understand who, you know, think about us because, you know, no, it's, beneficial. it's very it's platonic, our, benefits. Our, you know, but uh, I do say that you I love you both gross. very much and it's great to work with you, but I don't know about the... My husband started out as a friend with benefits. Ooh. Oh, he did? Yeah, I just broke the news here right now on the Power Hour. Wow. Speaking of breaking news, this band still Panther. Josh can tell you, you know, they around since like 2000 when they called themselves Metal Shop and Metal School. They went through a series of different names. And, you know, it's incredible because their whole theme was being like an 80s hair metal band from the Sunset Strip. Incredible band, incredible live experience. If you ever get to see them, don't, don't, uh, you know, don't blow the chance. And of course, this song, Katie, what's the name of it? It's called Friends with Benefits. their latest video and their last one was 1987 which is this video they did yeah and you know you loved it it was great because if you were a big fan of, of the bands like from the sunset strip that's what they were talking about how much they loved that year well we're now and two two at uh oh and two katie of seeing you in a steel panther video so see what he's I trying know, to guys. say is that katie wants to be in their next video but they're actually trying to spare you a little <laughs> embarrassment yeah. being a married woman to be in Friends with Benefits, because you might have had to do a few things. You're just in the friend been, zone right Yeah, now. yeah, it might have been a little raunchy, that one. But they were, yeah, they were sparing me and said that I could do the next one. I think it's fantastic. Well, coming up, we have Dave Mustaine of Megadeth. He'll be talking about their new live stream from Budokan. Makes me think about Cheap Trick. Plus, we got John Fred from Blackstone Cherry joining us. Oh, and don't forget the top 10 videos of the week voted by you. All happening when we come back for more of the Power Hour on Axis TV. Welcome back to the Power Hour. Still to come, we have the top 10 music videos. But before we do that, John Fred Young of Blackstone Cherry is going to be joining us yeah. on the show. And they're playing Welcome to Rockville and Sonic Temple Festival. They're always great live. They've been a festival band for many, many years. Seen them on the DWP ones before. We should check out their video. They've got a new song out. It's called Out of Pocket. Yeah, let's do it.
got John Fred Young from Blackstone Cherry here. John, how you doing? I'm good. It's record store day coming up. Now, talk to me about, you You know, you come from a family of musicians. Do you have a favorite vinyl? And do you still have vinyl or collect vinyl? Or are you a vinyl guy? So I I do like vinyl. Um, going, going back to the, the family, um, the young family here. So my dad and uncle, they started a group called the Kentucky Headhunters back in 1989. And they were one of the first really country rock bands to ever kind of break into Nashville. They, they were a little too country for rock at the time. They were, they were way too rock and roll for uh, country. So it, but it's, it's funny because they uh, put the sound together in an old farmhouse down here on my grandparents' farm when they were teenagers. And they just, they stayed after it and became the Kentucky Headhunters, won some Grammys and sold a lot of records, you know. And uh, obviously when we were teenagers, we needed a place to go practice. And my dad was like, well, you can use the old farmhouse, you know, the practice house. It didn't have any heat, there's no toilets. So my dad and uncle would put up like these incredible posters and albums on the wall to keep the heat in because there wasn't any insulation in the building. So you got like Montrose, Mott the Hoople, you got Skinner, you got Cream, Zeppelin, Aretha Franklin, Ray Charles, all these sick acts of, of generational periods. But like we're teenagers, you know, from, you know, this little bitty town in Kentucky. And it was a, it was a really, really wild environment to be like sucking up what was going on on MTV in 2000, one, two, three, that era. And then also being in like a rock and roll museum in the middle of a farm. I, I got two, two questions. One, with being a band for 22 years, what kind of water do you guys freaking drink because you have not aged? They look exactly good the question. same as they, they did. They do look good, don't they? They look great. Like seriously, you see these bands getting old and withered, but not Blackstone Cherry. Um, and second well, question. Bless your heart. <laughs> and second question at Welcome to Rockville Festival that you guys are playing, Daytona Beach, Florida, in May. With everybody who's playing, who are you going to be sticking around to see? So those are my two questions for you. Well, that's going to be a great show. And you know, we've we've done that festival uh, in the past. It's always. It's always a blast. And, uh, you know, I think that, you, you know, when it comes to American festivals, that's that's one that we look forward to, you know. Um, you know, we're, we're very blessed here is that not only do, are we going to get to see you guys at Welcome to Rockville, but a little north of Kentucky uh, in Columbus, Ohio, we're going to have you guys at Sonic Temple as well with the, you know, the returning Foo Fighters, which uh, I think is going to be one of their you know, first shows since you yeah. know, we lost Taylor Hawkins. So what is the, the Blackstone Cherry game plan? I think one of the one of the biggest things we strive for is to find catering that day. That's a good no that's <laughs> catering in the crucial. open bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. then and then we'll we'll talk about the show. Um no, I the Sonic Temple is, is gonna be amazing. Um one of the things we do before we hit the stage is you know, I mean we kind of just sit around, honestly, just look at each other and eat snacks and kind of stretch and just, you know, everybody, I mean, you know, it's, it's funny because I think people assume that there's like this, this huge circus, you know, inside the tour bus. And it's like, you open it up and it's like, there's a bowling alley and there's a phone party. <laughs> yeah. and it's like, it's just dudes sitting there playing Xbox. Look <laughs> well, Fred, thank you so much for hanging out with us on the Power Hour here, and we're looking forward to seeing you at Sonic Temple, and welcome to Rockville. And uh, good to know that we won't see you at the open bar. <laughs> Thanks yeah, so much, and Fred. Say hello to Chris it. and the rest of the guys for us, okay? I will. I will. Y'all, thank you so much. What a nice guy. He He's really so sweet. Is. I kind of want to now hang with him or work out with him uh, at the festival. I love the Kentucky twang as yeah. well. Maybe we'll see them a Louder Than Life, too. I know that we're going to be doing that this year as well. Those great DWP festivals I absolutely love. And you drink a lot of bourbon at them. I kind of just sit don't there next at, to you. Don't out me. You know, Metallica played so many of the DWP festivals. They are truly festival warriors. But we got something really special on Axis TV this Sunday night, February 26th at 9 p.m. Eastern. It's S&M 2, Metallica with the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra, and man, it is powerful and boombastic. You're definitely gonna wanna check it out. Boombastic! He said boombastic! Boombastic! Oh my God, it's Metallica! That looks 
awesome. When we come back, we still have the top 10 music videos and the interview with Dave Mustaine. It's all coming up on the Power Hour here on Axis TV. Welcome back to the Power Hour. It's time for your top 10 videos of the week. And you voted for this one, which last week was at number four and now is at number 10. It's the Los Angeles band Butterside. Let's check it out. Let's, let's watch this music video. We're going to give you a little clip. It's Butterside at number 10 with Joker on the Power Hour. That was Butterside at the number 10 spot with Joker. But next up, this is a song we debuted last week by, the, by Static X, and this is an incredible Nine Inch Nails cover of Terrible Lie from the great album Pretty Hate Machine. I'm Matt? obsessed with this. You know, it's incredible because, you know, obviously Wayne Static, who passed away quite a few years ago, sadly, um, you know, who's the original singer of the band, uh, always loved Nine Inch Nails. Mm -hmm. You know, the band originally formed in 1994, and at that period of time, I remember Wayne telling me at one point that he loved so much the performance of Nine Inch Nails at Woodstock 94 when they were all covered in mud. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, they came out so triumphant at that concert that it was them and Metallica playing that night. What an incredible yeah. show. And along with the release of this music video and this, this cover, they mm -hmm. announced that in November they're going to be coming out with Project Regeneration Volume 2, and it's going to feature the final recordings that they have of Wayne Static, which is... Kind of sad because to know that it's going to be the final ones makes me. I know, but you know what's cool? The Project uh, Regeneration One had some really great people on it, like Ivan Moody from yeah. Five Finger Death Punch was a singer on that. David Draymond from Disturbed. So you know, he obviously had a lot of incredible fans, and the rest of the guys decided they would carry on with a new singer. And yeah. here they are, right? And I love it. Nine Inch Nails fans, forgive me when I say I think I prefer this version of Terrible Lie over. Canceled. Well, I also have to point out that this is a Nine Inch Nails cover coming in at the number nine spot. Terrible Lie by Static X. Static X with their cover of Nine Inch Nails, Terrible Lie. I'm obsessed with that cover. I'm so glad that they decided to give it to us because I'm sure they've, they've been holding on to that for 20 plus years, I'm oh, assuming. Oh, easily, easily. I think it's incredible. Now, our next video, which is coming in at number eight this week, is from a Scranton, Pennsylvania band who have really kind of continued to rise on this trajectory of getting more and more popular. They were out on the Trinity of Terror tour. Absolutely. Them, Ice Nine Kills, Black Veil Brides. Did it so well, they did it twice. Incredible tour, yeah. and... Uh, it, it has moved up a couple spots as well. It was 14 last week, and it jumped to number eight. So let's give them a little taste of Werewolf, Motionless and White. And become the monster, or the monster, become man. Could be up all night, but I'm paralyzed when the creature comes alive. Motionless and White right there at number eight with Werewolf. Man, I love that they reference in the song. They've got a couple 80s references. Rockwell, Somebody's Watching Me, and the Psychedelic Furs, Heartbreak Beat. So he's kind of, he threw in a couple things that obviously he grew up listening to. And the next one that we have are from uh, some badass bitches in Butcher Babies. We're great friends with these girls, the entire band. And if you like the heavy side 
of rock and roll, then you're gonna enjoy Butcher Babies. I like it heavy, and I was so honored to have uh, Heidi and Carla and Henry from the band uh, who debuted this video uh, with us last week. How cool was that? You know, it's amazing, because I talk to guys that are lead singers of other metal and rock bands, and they're like, Carla has more of a balls down voice than I do. Mm -hmm. You know, like, she really can, she gets that growl. She gets really low. Well, Heidi, Powerful. I got hey. to see Heidi perform for the first time, not even with Butcher Babies. She was at the Pantera Dime Bash in Anaheim, and she got on stage and performed a Pantera song. And I shit you not, I was in the audience just, oh, like, kind of scared of her, but also, like, holy shit, what a badass. Yeah, she is a Incredible. badass. Her and my daughter, uh, my youngest daughter, Maya, are powerlifters, so they were actually doing this thing where they're powerlifting their boyfriends at the same time. <laughs> Uh, at Welcome to Rockville last year, which was really fun. Yeah. It was funny. It was a good time. She was so nice to my daughter. I appreciate that. Bringing the rock and roll to my family. Well, let's introduce the number seven we video say it together? together. Together. I think we should say this one together because it's very special. It's yes. a special place in our hearts. Yes. Are you ready? Three. One, two, three. Beaver Cage! <laughs> Beaver Cage by the Butcher Babies. And of course, as uh, our friend from uh, Blackstone Cherry said earlier, his tour bus is very boring, but this one seems to be quite the opposite of that tour bus, no? Yeah, absolutely. They had a lot of partying going on there, and I can't believe they did that after they shot another video, their last one, for their cover of that Saweetie song, Best Friend, when they made a metal version of like a hip hop song. Yeah, I feel like I really need to get together with these ladies at one of the festivals, because I've only been around Heidi at certain other events, but it ain't never a party like that. So I want to get on that tour bus. We got to get Katie inside the beaver cage, get the exact story, get the scoop, and we'll learn it more about sense. that. It makes sense! Beaver cage! Canadian! It's me! It's about me! But not really. I yeah. can pretend all I want, though. Yeah. Well, I feel like, I feel like, instead of slowing things down, let's turn it up even louder and even heavier. Do you think we could go do that? I think we can, because this will be the second video we've shown today from the Mighty Metallica. That's right, this week, they are at number six with Lux Eterna, also from their forthcoming album, 72 Seasons. Lux Eterna! song. I love a that. Great I can't wait to hear the rest of that record. I can't wait to see that tour this summer. They're going out with Pantera, Five Finger Death Punch, Wolfgang Van Halen. Ice Nine Kills. Ice Nine Kills. And in the European shows, Volbeat and Architects. And our number five video, they have a new record coming out in a couple of days. It's Godsmack with Surrender. We've been listening to this song for uh, a while and it makes Matt feel very uncomfortable because in the music video, he does this little shimmy and you just don't like that. No, 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 but I love Sully Earn <laughs> and you know, those guys are great. The first time they were ever on TV was on my show Farm Club years ago. I've been a big fan, but I always kid about the whole thing with the shimmy. There's certain things that you don't like in videos and I don't dislike it. I just yeah. like, a, here comes the shimmy again. It stands out with me. Well, for goodness sake, uh, he's got the, uh, give me, you know, the hippie hippie shakes. He and, does. Uh, without any further ado. And by the way, guys, we're going to be blessed with an appearance next week by Godsmack <gasps> right here on the Power Hour on Access TV. So without further ado, this one's Surrender by Godsmack. <laughs> Godsmack with the shimmering Sully Erna, who will be here on the show next week. And that song is called Surrender, and it's at number five on our countdown this week. 
They say this next album is their final studio album, Lighting Up the Sky, which will be out very soon, right? Yeah, it's coming out. They apparently said it's going to be their last one. I don't buy this for a second. I think they're pulling an Ivan Moody of Five Finger Death Punch. Or the Who, who have or, retired 8,000 times. Exactly, or like a Slayer thing, you know. You're saying who the knows? band we just played on the show from Mongolia is retiring already? <laughs> no, I meant the other who. Remember the other who? They, they, they I'm getting very guys. confused yes. here. This is like an Abbott Costello routine here. But, yeah. uh, well, obviously next week we're so excited for um, Sully and, and the team to sh shimmy their way onto our show. Guys, what do you think about my uh, jeans today? Do they remind you of anything? Is that where the, Are you sponsored by Junko? I should be. I really should be. But uh, this next video, you one of my it, favorites. You can fit another person in there. <laughs> well, we can try that a little bit later. See how many how many legs we can get it's into like an these old pants. Volkswagen. Was that Fundies? It's <laughs> unbelievable. You know, you were such a big Limp Biscuit fan, which made me so happy the first Guilty. thing you told me. It explains a lot. You know, because when you know, I, I did that rant on the end of Significant Other, which yep. you know, I you know, I wrote for me and Fred, and. Uh, you know, it sounds like I'm absolutely losing my mind. Like, because we literally were throwing mic stands across the studio. And, uh, well, I've lost my mind many times. But it wasn't that day. I was pretty much control. But it was a little bit of acting. But we had such a great time. I was so honored that Limp Bizkit asked me to be on the Significant Other album. And, uh, you know, I'm so jealous. Of, well, I'm going to ask Fred. He gets to be in videos. He's on albums. Look at us. Look at us humps. Yeah, who no. are we? Why Some are we here. even here? What do you mean? I'm going to get you guys on the next Limp Bizkit album. Maybe <laughs> oh, the next one. you say that to this all your friends called, with benefits. This yes. song is called Out of Style. It's from their 2021 record, Limp Bizkit Still Sucks. Yes. Uh, they are going to be going to Europe pretty quickly, but they're also going to be playing at Blue Ridge Rock Festival and Incarceration. Huh? Hopefully, they're going to be announced on a few others because two festivals is not enough. For me. Let's check it out. It's a new video from Limp Biscuit. You put it at number four this week. It's out of style. Well, that was Limp Bizkit. I don't know what technology they're using there, but that was absolutely incredible. But when we return, David Stane from Megadeth is going to be joining us here. How you get Putin to be in the video? I don't get it. <laughs> they, I think, uh, you don't know Putin's guy? No. no he does all, he does. That guy had not come. Yeah, he's like the Tony Container of Russia. But well, we also got the top three videos of the week when we come back here on Access TV for the Power Hour. Welcome back to the Power Hour. Still to come, we have your top three videos. But first, it's Megadeth time! That's right, Dave Mustaine is here for the Power Hour and they're gonna be playing at Incarceration with Limp Bizkit and Slipknot and Pantera and so many other great bands. And we're really excited about that, so we wanna hit on that. That's right, killing is his business and business is good. So he belongs definitely in the prison where they shot the Shawshank Redemption film. Dave, it's good to see you. You too. Thanks, brother. Can we talk about the fact that you've got this live stream coming up from Budokan? It's called They Only Come Out at Night. And I thought about the Edgar Winter Group album with Frankenstein on it. You know what of I mean? Of course you would. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. I'm like a total yeah. music geek. And I, I love them a lot. <laughs> but uh, I love that name. So immediately I, I was drawn to that. Talk to me about playing Japan. Has that always been a great territory for you to play? It's a great territory for anyone to play. Yeah. You know, the, the lifestyle, the, the, uh, the culture, it's uh, very different from what we, uh, we, how we live over here in the States. And, and no, of course, things have changed over the years. I've been going there for 30 years, but, uh, um, you know, it's, it's a really fascinating place to go. Any musician that hasn't had a chance to play and perform for the Japanese audience, you are missing out. It's different. It's, it's all I can say is different. All right, Dave, not to throw you off or anything, but I have a random question for you. Who would win in a bar fight, T-Rex or Vic Rattlehead? Vic. <laughs> Vic. <laughs> That's it. Of course. And I got to say, you know, shout out to your, your, your recent involvement with Gibson and your partnership. Those guitars are, are stunning and gorgeous, and I love all the, uh, the work you're doing and the video series you guys put out. It's so, so classy and so well yeah. done. And, um, like I said, that flying V is so iconic, right? So, it's amazing. Um, you know, I, I, I know, um, you know, 
we can't wait to see you in prison this summer. Yes. Uh, with that flying. I don't balloon. like how that sounds. <laughs> no, yeah. That's not going to happen. Don't drop, gonna, don't drop the soap. outside yeah. the prison. <laughs> outside the prison, I promise. Yeah, yeah. We'll hang out outside of the prison. We won't uh, go in there and be held prisoner of any sort. We'll have a conjugal die. visit. It's yes. going to be lovely. And, uh, <laughs> you know what? What's worrying me is you know too many words about sex in prison. I watched, I watched a <laughs> lot of Oz back yeah, in the day. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Dave. Bye-bye. Okay, when we come back, it'll be your top three videos of the week that you voted on right here on the Power Hour on Axis TV. Stick around. Welcome back. It's time to get juicy because we have reached our top three videos of the week. And you voted for these videos, so uh, that's why they're here. I can't believe it. I mean, these are three good ones. These are the ones that are, there's, there's controversy, there is a tribute to someone we recently lost, and of course, a, a chart-topping festival headliner. So where do we go from here? You know, I read an article recently uh, where I mentioned Ronnie Radke and the falling in reverse debate about whether people should use laptops or backing tracks. And you know, my feeling is, you know, if you have to enhance it because you need to fill out some of the things that you did in the studio, it really depends. It's a fine line, you know? And I defended them, but I don't like people that just lip sync on yeah. stage. I, in rock, that is an absolute crime. There's budgetary constraints, but obviously the laptop controversy has gotten escalated here. As we've seen in this video, it's not a, a musical crutch anymore. It's actually being used as a laptop weapon. <laughs> it really it is. sure is. It sure is. And it's number three this week, Falling in Reverse with Watch the World Burn. For a song that doesn't have a chorus, it's crushing it. He's trying to get rid of me. Evil tendencies are fucking with me mentally. I got people that don't like me in the industry. I can feel your energy. You were not a friend of me. Because I have been to places that you never want to go. Yeah, I got dirt on people, but they act like I don't know. At number three, that is Fully Reverse and Watch the World Burn. And we're waiting for a new album from the band, but Ronnie Radke has told us before that uh, he likes to, every song should be like a single, so he's not rushing a new album. And we're looking forward to that. Like I said, I did defend them for uh, that whole uh, backing tracks thing. But uh, they crush it live every time, don't no, they? they they're, and I would I, I almost argue that uh, Ronnie is, uh, is operating at its full capacity and powers now, right? I think uh, he's got nine lives, and many times you might have counted him out through his previous mm -hmm. bands, but he's firing on all cylinders. Up next, we have a band who are going to be on the show next week. And we're talking about that band that started in Jacksonville, Florida, known as Shinedown. Here they are at the number two spot, Shinedown with Dead Don't Die. When's the last time you were afraid? I haven't been afraid a day in my life. The dead don't die, the heart still beats, head held high, I haunt these streets, lies still mean a hundred thousand times, you can try. Two this week on the Power Hour, and that song was written about the vocalist Brent Smith by Zach Myers of the band. That's right, because Brent Smith had been through a lot of rough times early on in his life and rose out of that like a phoenix. And speaking of rising out of it, they had a number one album with Planet Zero on the rock charts in over 17 countries. And moving on to the number one spot, this is the time, the time has come! You voted because we have that cool QR code thing. Oh my God, what is it? I don't even, the technology is beyond my comprehension. <laughs> I'm really excited that this one got the number one spot because we're all so thrilled that oh my God. we got it in the first place. We didn't know it was coming, but they released it for their 20 year anniversary of their second album, Meteora. That's right, we're talking about Linkin Park. There will be an incredible special edition of this, just like they did for the anniversary of their 10 million selling album, Hybrid Theory, their debut. You know, Mike Shinoda recently has said that he's so happy that this track is getting out and people are finally getting to hear it, that he'd actually thought about quitting music when Chester died, but that, uh, you know, he knew he didn't want to leave the legacy there, so he was going to keep on going. And it was interesting recently that he said that uh, 
You know, he wrote the song In the End in One Night, the song that broke Crazy. through and became a major hit for the band and sent them into the stratosphere. We're happy to have some new music from the guys, and you wanted it to go all the way to the top of the chart, so it's the new number one video on the Power Hour this week. This is Lost from Linkin Park. Number one! which was originally recorded back in 2003, and they just gave it to us, and I'm sure glad that they did. Oh, my God. Now, next week on the show, we've got three incredible guests. We'll have Godsmack, Shine Down, and the great Corey Taylor, who you know from Slipknot and Stone Sour. And don't forget to get your votes in. We got that cool QR code somewhere here, so please go and vote. I don't know about you guys, but like I heard that new Metallica song, Screaming Suicide, I sort of can't get enough of it, and I don't know if we can. I want to play us out, if you will, with a little Metallica. Do I have that kind of power? Can I, you can do I have, have, have all the power! All the, the power, power on the power hour! Well, that's our show for this week. We'll see you again next week with the top 10 videos you voted for and five great new ones. I'm Matt Pinfield. Josh Bernstein. Katie Babs. And this has been the Power Hour. We'll see you next week right here on Access TV.